Good evening, everyone. What is the significance of Jesus spending 40 days and nights of solitude, prayer, and fasting in the Judean wilderness? In the Old Testament, 40 days was often seen as a significant period of testing and preparation for entering into a covenant relationship with God. In the days of Noah, God judged the earth and destroyed its inhabitants in a great flood because of their idolatry and total rejection of God. Noah and his family were spared because they obeyed God and took refuge in the ark for 40 days. When the flood subsided, God made a covenant with Noah and promised that he would not destroy the human race again. Jesus came to fulfill that promise. When God freed the Israelites from slavery in Egypt, he brought them into the wilderness of Sinai. Moses went to the mountain of the Lord at Sinai and remained there in prayer and fasting for 40 days. At the conclusion of this 40-day encounter, God made a covenant with Moses and the people. After Jesus was anointed by the Spirit in the waters of the Jordan River, he journeyed to the wilderness of Judea for 40 days to prepare himself for the mission which the Father sent him to accomplish offer up his life as the perfect atoning sacrifice for our sins. Through the shedding of his blood on the cross, he won for us a new and everlasting covenant which fulfilled and surpassed all the previous covenants which God had made with his people. Matthew, Mark, and Luke tell us in their gospel accounts that Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. Mark states it most emphatically. The Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. Mark 1 verse 12. Why was Jesus compelled to seek solitude for such a lengthy period? Was it simply a test to prepare him for his ministry? Or did Satan want to lure him into a trap? The word temp in English usually means to entice to sin or wrongdoing. The scriptural word here also means test in the sense of proving and purifying someone to see if they are ready for the task at hand. We test pilots to see that they are fit to fly. Likewise, God tests his servants to see if they are fit to be used by him. God tested Abraham to prove his faith. The Israelites were sorely tested in Egypt before God delivered them from their enemies. Jesus was no exception to this testing. Satan, in turn, did his best to entice Jesus to choose his own will over the will of his Father in heaven. Despite his weakened condition due to fatigue and lack of food for 40 days, Jesus steadfastly rejected Satan's subtle and not so subtle temptations. Where did Jesus find his strength to survive the deserts harsh conditions, and the tempter's seduction. He fed on his Father's word and found strength in doing his will. Satan will surely tempt us and will try his best to get us to choose our will over God's will. If he can't make us renounce our faith or sin mortally, he will then try to get us to make choices that will lead us, little by little, away from what God wants for us. And God bless you.
Friends, we are now into the great season of Lent. During the season of Lent, the Church invites us to examine our lives, to repent of our sins and do penance by means of fasting, penance, and prayers. The faithful obtain strength they need to overcome the sinful tendencies. The purpose of Lent is to provide the purification by winning human persons from sin and selfishness to self-denial and prayer by creating in them the desire to do God's will and to make His kingdom alive by making it first come into the hearts. The real aim of Lent, above all else, is to prepare Christians for the celebration of the death and the resurrection of Christ. The better the preparation for this day, the more effective the celebration will be. One can effectively relieve the mystery only with purified mind and heart. The Church invites all to repent from all evil ways and to return to the Lord. He is eagerly waiting for its one to come to Him. After the Lord's baptism, He was led by the Spirit into the desert, where He remained for forty days. The desert is the place where people felt close to God and away from the distractions of the world. It is in the desert that the people of Israel receive God's law. It is in the desert God made His covenant with His people. It is there in the desert that God took care of Israel, giving them food and water. And it seems necessary then that those whom God calls, including God's own Son, must be purified by spending their time in the desert. The 40 days symbolize the temptations of Israel in the wilderness for 40 years. Moses experienced in the desert and Elijah's flight. During that time in the desert, Jesus was tested by the evil one. Mark does not tell us how he was tested, but Matthew and Luke do. These tests are really examples of the kind of test that Jesus was to face in the course of his public life, even on Calvary. However, we have to focus on the meaning and the symbolism of the passage other than its historical accuracy. Its purpose is to help us understand the conflict that we are in Jesus' own life and which is also to be found in each and every one of us. Matthew and Luke tell us that the tempter asked Jesus to change the stones into bread and satisfy his hunger after his long fast in the desert, asked him to jump down the pinnacle of the temple to make spectacular entry as the Messiah and call him to worship him and in return, he will possess everything in the universe. They were the temptations to be unfaithful to God's call, faced with such challenges. Each time, Jesus then said, offering yes to his father's way, even when it came to hand over his own life. Jesus did not allow himself to be subdued by Satan. The purpose of his coming to earth was to overcome the worldly kingdom of Satan that had its beginning when Adam disobeyed God in the Garden of Eden. Jesus, the new Adam, overcomes the evil one and proclaims the proximity of the kingdom of God. 
he tells the prisoners that he himself is the kingdom. They ought to listen to him. Now as we begin the season of Lent, brothers and sisters, in their first Sunday of Lent, all of us are likewise invited by the Lord to go to a desert, the desert will experience the presence of the Lord, the desert will experience a kind of purification and cleansing from our sinfulness, infidelities, and shortcomings. A desert where we will be tempted with all the temptations that the world could offer. Temptations of greatness, temptation of pride, temptation of possessions, temptations of any kind and of any sort. But hopefully, as Jesus was able to conquer the temptations, we would try our best also to emulate the values that, that Jesus did live when he was in this earth, when he was tempted in the desert. The value of simplicity, the value of disponibility, the value of service, the value of sacrifice, and especially always conscious and following the will of God, His Father. May our celebration of Lent, brothers and sisters, will be a time for us to strengthen our love and commitment to the Lord, and especially for us to realize how sinful we are needing for repentance, needing for forgiveness, mercy from the Lord. Listen Sunday. Ready to see